I always got to have my shovel when I'm writing my carts. Guess it's an homage to Temple of Doom. Oh, not left, right. How's it going, guys? Sir Kyle 138 here. You can call me Sirky. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you what I've been doing with minecart tracks lately. Uh, figured out a way to make them controllable. Hopefully this will help add some life to those old maps that uh, you've gotten sick of. Minecart tracks are a great way to get from camp to camp. Uh, let's go north this time. There we go, north. And it works out well because in case you die, you can hop back on your minecart and get back to all your stuff and grab all those diamonds you dropped before the five minute timer runs out and you lose everything. Oh, that pisses me off. Uh, let's go this way. So it took me a while to figure out how to get switches on all three of the intersecting tracks here. Uh, if you look at this, uh, first of all, minecart tracks and redstone, I'm not going to go over how they work. Uh, check out Almighty Bob, he's got some great stuff on minecart tracks and booster tracks and redstone and all that kind of fun stuff. I've seen a lot of stuff on YouTube about the basic gates, the basic logic gates, but those are not going to cut it here. Um, if you want to power this track, you know, we can switch it from this side. But in case I pass through and left that on, you know, and then over here, fail, right? And what if you want to do something over here? Well, that's not going to cut. You know, this is not going to work. So we got to do something else. So behold the XOR gate. This thing is awesome. One of my favorites. Okay, so what we have here is a bunch of nonsense that I can't even begin to explain. I'm not an electrical engineer by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's about the size of a car. <laughs> so I can't tell you why it works or even begin to claim to have invented this thing, but I can show you how to use it and how to build it. Uh, you have your input on either side of the rear and back here, and your output over here. I got the output over to this minecart gate, and it's wired so that if the indicator light is on, the track is heading towards the indicator light. If it's off, it's heading away from it. Why is it always nighttime when you're trying to show something on a map? Okay, so now when the indicator light's off, track is heading away from the indicator light. If I cruise on over here, flip my switch, light comes on, track goes towards it, okay? Off, on, off, on. Off, on, off, on. Magic. Awesome, right? So now if I want to add those switches to either side of the track so I can hit it as I'm approaching the intersection, we'll throw out some redstone here and a bit of a switch click and over here do the same thing replace with redstone here and a bit of a switch now I can come up to the track <laughs> over here same side And it doesn't matter where it was when I passed through it the last time. So now you're saying, well, yeah, but I want to have a third one over there at, the, at that intersection. Okay, well, no problem. Anytime you want to add another switch, you just add another gate. So the way we build these gates, and I'll demo one here for you really quick, is one, two... Excuse me. One, two, three. You get this pattern going, and you load this thing up with red stick torches. One here, one here, one here, one here, and redstone virtually everywhere. Okay, throw some switches on there. One and two and there you go that's the gate
Why do you hate me? Oh yes, I didn't add redstone here. I always miss one, at least one of these redstone things. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. So now the trick becomes wiring this thing, which is no small feat, let me tell you. There's a lot of crossing over tracks and uh, crossing under tracks, all manner of nonsense. So I'm going to whip this up really quick in demo mode for you here. By the way, can I just say if you're going to build something complicated like this, go ahead and put it on peaceful because nothing sucks harder than a freaking creeper coming up and uh, suicide bombing your works of art here. So as we build our little tower, and just something for the minecart to pass through as an example for you guys. Some redstone here, 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 here. I never like to have it go right next to the track. Um, just because track behaves weird for no obvious reason sometimes. There's our one switch. Here's our other switch. Notice how much faster this one goes because it doesn't have to go through that second gate. And our last switch. Yep. You can barely see it on the corner there. Oh, there's the indicator. Let's look at the indicator. There you go. On. Off. So there it is. So before I split, I want to show you guys how I use these tracks in my world. Um, if I'm coming down this track here and I see that indicator lights on right there, that means I'm going to turn that way. If it's off, then I would go straight. It's important to know when you're coming down the track, have these indicator lights and you want to f have them feed off the output, remember. Have these indicator lights telling you where you're going to go because you can't see that junction when you're speeding down the track. The way it looks in here is actually really intimidating. <laughs> Let's go in here and see. Uh, hollow out here. Two gates back to back. Here is the feed that comes up to the track. Got some inverters that govern which light goes on. So if it was to, uh, if you were to approach from this side and I don't know where this is going yet, I haven't built that end of it, you would see which way your T-junction is going to turn right there. Pretty cool. Two gates, back to back. This one, you know, there's always one side of them that's got to go somewhere weird. Oh, where, where did this one go? Here it is. It's on this side. Yeah. Underground. Got to keep those wires hidden, right? Here's another one on approach to my main base. This one's quite a doozy here. We'll go in here. A couple of different levels. This was my first attempt, so it's a little messy. But that's cool. All over the place. So you can see the inverters that are extending the switch lines. Here's a switch up here. Switch goes right to the block itself. Here are the indicator lights. There's a switch. And I put a sign for north and south so I know which way I'm going to head out the gate. Going over here, we'll see the other switch input. There we are. In hindsight, I would just do the one light if I was going to turn. So there you have it. How to switch your minecart tracks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank uh, Notch for making an awesome game. I want to thank Almighty Bob for his uh, help with the, there we go, 
with the redstone and the booster tracks. And thanks Cena Anders for introducing me to this game. I hope this video is easy to understand and uh, lets you speed around your Minecraft worlds a little bit faster and with a little bit greater ease. Uh, good luck keeping those diamonds you lose when you die. <laughs> Other than that guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Take care.